Hey, yeah, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an effect uh, like this and these effects with the uh, Doppler or without. Um, it can be quite expensive, for example, if you see here an effect for, uh, uh, that's a VST effect, a Doppler effect, this one uh, for example is uh, 139 pounds, um, I think that's around $140 as well. Um, all right, let's see how we set this up. So, or what we can do in this video, uh, and this setup, I mean. So, what we can do? We have a speaker over here, and this point, uh, those see this are your ears, and then here are the speakers. So, what I did, I was, I parented this camera to this mesh circle. So if I animate this mesh circle, then I animate the camera. Normally it's quite hard to animate a camera movement like this. Alright, so um, yeah, here you see the um, graph editor. If I click on modifiers tab, I can change the amplitude so I can make the am amplitude bigger or smaller, like that. And I can animate uh, whatever I like, like, uh, like here. For example, I can also add uh, something like this. And wrap that to press I for location and copy this one. Like that, and now so you can make um, any effect. You can also move these uh, in another position, like that. You can also. Um, Make the Doppler effect much stronger. Uh, let's go to 5, update animation cache. Or even uh, stronger. Let's play it on 10. You'll hear the Doppler effect now, like. Mm, um, and if you click on the speaker, you see settings here like uh, the volume and the pitch, so you can uh, make these sounds uh, lower, for example, an octave uh, lower, 0 0.5, um, 0 0.5, like that. You can change volumes, you can load um, effects, applause, let's go for applause, like that. And then we have to change the pitch, of course. Update, animation cache. And then uh, you can, if you are happy with the sound, you can go to render and then render audio. And I recommend uh, to save it as a WAV and then sign it uh, as 24 or as 32 bit and uh, give it the name and then mix down. And then you can use your sound, for example, in. Uh, video editing, and then you can add a sound like that. All right. Yeah, um, if you are interested in a lot of effects and uh, sounds, I don't know, loops, 
that are suitable for Blender, we can take a look at the um, on the uh, Blender Funky Loops pack. In, so if you go to Blender Market, you type in Blender Funky Loops pack, you see this one. And then uh, you have uh, loops that are uh, suitable for a Blender, so it's easier to snap around. All right, let's take a look at um, how we set this up from uh, scratch. So I get a new, I, get, I load a new scene. Uh, we have here a default cube, if you have that as well. I move that up one uh, meter, so it's over there. I click on the object, what is this? This is the object properties, and then I go to viewport display. Then display as bounds. And that's just for reference, so I know where I am in the scene. So uh, I know if I'm here or if I'm there, like that. Okay, and then I add a mesh circle. It can be any, any object, but um, I like a circle. And um, so I select the camera, not in this view, but in this view. And if I press Shift plus A, no, wait, Shift plus S, then I uh, say Selection to Cursor. Ah, why didn't that happen? Ah, selection to cursor. Now press N. I go to item. I put this on 90, I think. Yeah, 90. And this on 0. And I've got my camera right there. Um, I have a snapping on. Snap to increment and move. So if I press G for grab and I press then control while grabbing, I can move the camera exactly over there. And now I select the camera, then select the mesh. If I press control P and then I set parent to object. And that means if I animate the circle, the animate the the mesh, no, circle, sorry, circle object. Then I can animate the camera in uh, different ways than normally. Like that. Um, I add also with shift A uh, some speakers. Speakers, and I add one over here. Shift D to copy that. And one there, and one there. Now I can uh, load sounds, to, so I go to the Properties panel, and then to Object Data Properties. Then, in my case, I go to the Blender Funky Loops pack, and I see Effects. Um, I choose for Spacecraft Leaving. Also for this one. Oh. Wait, I can actually do this. So, um, I put the volume a little bit down because we have multiple sounds and maybe that might add up in volume. Uh, for this one, I have no idea. Move, um, yeah, ghost is coming maybe. Yeah, light light spacecraft moving. No, with scare interaction maybe. Then I open another uh, property panel. Property panel, I go to the scene properties and there I find audio. And there I can change the Doppler settings and update animation cache. So as soon as I change um, audio settings, uh, you update animation cache, otherwise, otherwise um, you hear strange um, glitches in the audio. Let's hear you. All right, and that sounds uh, good. 
we didn't animate uh, yet. I opened another uh, window editor, and that is the graph editor. Uh, let's animate this uh, circle. So I press, I select the circle, press I, and then I click on rotation. Then in the graph editor, I click on this one, and then I animate the Z Euler rotation with a modifier. So I click a modifier tab, add modifier, then a built in function, and I put the face multiply a bit down to 0.05 or 4 maybe. Uh, update animation cache and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's very nice. So you, you hear a stereo effect uh, in your speakers if you have good speakers, I think. So, um, oh yeah, I want to put this a bit higher, 0 0.06 maybe. Yeah, and I can also animate the speaker. So if I press I, I choose for location in this case. Location and here, halfway the animation, I put it for example like here. Press I again for location and copy the very first one to around 120 or 140. Let's see how long the sound is. Yeah, around 120. 120, like that. Yeah, yeah. And you can do a lot of things, like you can... Um, also, yeah, you can change the, the, the amplitude. So if you have a higher amplitude, uh, update animation cache, a bit higher, so. <laughs> That's a little bit too much. Also cool, also cool, but <laughs> let's put it down a bit. Yeah, you can change the speed and you can also animate uh, this one. Grab that to location, copy this one over here. Update animation cache. Ah. What was that? So grab Z minus two. Press I location. Alright, uh, let's delete this one. Delete put this one over here. And copy that one. Update. I'm <laughs> not sure what happens. Um, I think I have to do this. Um, over here, grab set to press I, location. Ah, now you hear that uh, glitch. Um, but if you update animation cache, then the audio will sound smooth. And then you can, uh, if you are happy with the sound, um, and then you can render audio. Then choose for WAV, uh, and then S24 or S32. So that's 24-bit or 32-bit signed. That's what works best for other applications. All right, I think I, oh yeah, the, there are some more. So if you open the NLA editor, 
then you see these are sounds when they start, for example, if you think, ah, I want to have this sound uh, over here, the, and that's this one, I believe. You can make that sound um, start uh, later. So I'm um, around frame 75, that's around here. So. So you hear that that sound, sound of the of the um, spacecraft starts again here for the speaker over here. So you can make a lot of effects, and uh, as I said, uh, normally these effects can be quite expensive. There are some, there are, there's a few free as well, um, but. Um, yeah, you can uh, make uh, loads of sounds for games, for um, effects, for um, for your uh, cin cinematic effects, etc. All right, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more updates about uh, audio, then uh, I suggest to subscribe because um, I will work with much more audio in the future. All right, see you next time.